So, Informatica transformation is a repository object which reads, modify, and pass the data. In a mapping, it represents the operation that integration service performs on the data. Now, classifying the transformation, they can be classified either in active and passive, connected and unconnected. Okay? Uh -huh. So let's talk about active transformation. Ek transformation ko hum active kab ka bolenge? Note karo. Take take a pen and paper and note it down. Topic dalo active transformation. <clears throat> So a transformation can be called an active transformation if it performs any of the following options, any of the following operations. I'm sorry, say again. Heading dalo active transformation or fil dikho. A transformation can be termed as active transformation if it does any of the following actions. Dikha? transformation if it changes the number of rows passing through it second is if it changes the transaction boundary write it down I'll explain it okay and the third condition is if it changes the row type now if a transformation now if a transformation listen to me first yeah, yeah I'm repeating listen to me first a transformation can be termed as active transformation if it does any of the following first is changing in the number of rows changing the transformation boundary or changing the row type so let's talk about uh, our very first con condition changing the number of rows एक एग्जांपल देता हूं फिल्टर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में कुछ रोस फिल्टर आउट हो जाते हैं बेस्ड ऑन आवर कंडीशन तो फिल्टर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एक्टिव हुआ क्योंकि वो नंबर ऑफ रोस को चेंज कर रहा है सेकंड हमने लिखा था द चेंज इन ट्रांजैक्शन बाउंड्री इंफॉर्मेटिका में एक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन होती है व्हिच इज कॉल्ड ट्रांजैक्शन कंट्रोल वो ट्रांजैक्शन बाउंड्री को चेंज कर देती है we can decide that up to which point we need to commit the data, up to which point we want to roll back the data. We can do all those things using transaction control transformation. There is another transformation in Informatica called update strategy. Uh -huh. We can define the row type using that transformation. We can decide whether a row is going to be inserted, it is going to be deleted or updated. So this is definition of active transformation. Memorize it. Now let's talk about passive transformations. Active me kya kya condition thi? Number of rows change ho jaye. Row type change ho jaye. Yeah, transaction boundary change ho jaye. Mm -hmm. Jahan pe in tino mein se koi bhi activity nahi hogi. Us transformation ko hum passive transformation bol sakte hain. Ha ya na? Yes. So write down the definition. Passive transformations are the transformations which do not change the number of rows which are passing through them. Maintaining the number of rows, transaction boundary, and row type. Can you repeat one more time? Yeah. Passive transformations are the transformations which are not changing the number of rows past the transaction boundary and the row type. 
जो एक्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में लिखा था ना मिर्जा हमने नंबर ऑफ रोज ट्रांजेक्शन बाउंड्री रो टाइप ये तीनों चीजें जहां पे चेंज नहीं हो रही है वहां पे क्या हो गया कॉम्प्लीमेंट हो गया ना पैसिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एक्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन का परफेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट हो गया नाउ वेन एवर वी आर डिजाइनिंग ए मैपिंग इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका राइट डाउन दिस नोट वेन एवर वी आर डिजाइनिंग ए मैपिंग इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका वी कैन नॉट कनेक्ट मल्टीपल एक्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और एन एक्टिव एंड पैसिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू द डाउन स्ट्रीम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके सपोज देर आर लेट मी ओपन एम एस पेंट और लेट मी जस्ट ओपन एक्सेल शीट Let's use this one. I cannot see your screen actually. Fine. Oh, okay. Now you can see it. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> you should have informed me earlier. And in front of these two active transformation, there is another downstream. uh let's say target or another passive transformation or another active transformation so means that this scenario is invalid we cannot connect an uh, two active transformations to any one of these three okay here we go so this case will be invalid ये नोट आप लिख रहे हो ना यू कैन नॉट कनेक्ट मल्टीपल एक्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और एन एक्टिव एंड पेसिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू द डाउन स्ट्रीम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विच आर इन सेम इनपुट ग्रुप दूसरा वाला केस सपोज मेरे पास एक एक्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन है और एक पेसिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन है I am trying to connect both of these to one of these three. That will also be invalid. Okay. Okay. Now third case is if both of these transformations are passive, then it will be a valid case. Then it's a valid case. this is valid okay i hope you got the concept you got the concept or not i got the concept so make a table like this first column will be your transformation name connected active and one column for description okay make this table in your notebook so very first will be aggregator aggregator does group by operations and whenever we are doing group by operations we are reducing the number of uh, rows we are filtering out something or we are aggregating something okay 
uh, it is a connected trans connected transformation so I am putting yes here it is active transformation as well because it is changing number of rows and the description is it performs aggregation okay लेट्स मेरे पास ऐसा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बताओ जो हर मैपिंग में यूज होता ही होता है बताओ एक्सप्रेशन यस एक्सप्रेशन इज वन ऑफ देम एंड फोर्स क्वालिफायर फोर्स क्वालिफायर हर जगह यूज होता है व्हेनेवर वी आर ड्रैगिंग ए फोर्स टू आवर मैपिंग इट गेट्स ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएटेड राइट It is a connected transformation. Yes. It is an active yes. transformation or a passive transformation, Mirza. We can passive. filter out. We, no, it is not passive. It is active transformation. Why? Because we can filter out number of rows, which are passing through force qualifier transformation. We can specify the filter condition in force qualifier attribute itself, or we can override the SQL query, and we can specify our filter condition over there. so it is connected as well as active transformation it represents the rows that the integration service reads from an application or a source so i am writing it represents the rows that uh main integration service ko i as bol raha hu okay fine yeah. it represents the rows that integration services read from an application or source fine uh -huh. next transformation mirza there is a option in informatica that we can create our own transformation that is called a custom custom transformation right yeah so that is that can be active or passive that can be connect that is surely connected so what custom transformation does is it calls a procedure which is already created in our library it can be a java dll it can be a pl sql procedure also so that's not very frequently used so we will not mention that uh, that transformation in our list next most frequently used transformation is expression uh -huh. is it connected of course yes is it active or passive passive correct because it is not filtering out or not changing the number of rows the transaction boundary or the row type so it is used for performing calculations okay yeah let's discuss yeah. Fil filter let we talk we talked about filter a lot filter is active as well as connected yes and filter kya karta hai डेटा को फिल्टर करता है देर इज वन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विच इज कॉल्ड एस टी टी पी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट बट इतना ज्यादा यूज नहीं होता तो वी आर इग्नोरिंग इट फॉर नाउ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैपलेट में यूज होते हैं ओके तो इन दोनों को नहीं मैंशन करता सिर्फ इनपुट को मैंशन कर रहा हूं so input is a passive and connected transformation yeah. kya karta hai ye ye maplet just give me a minute please okay okay what about joiner yes um uh... tell me jo joiner is a active transformation or a passive transformation 
joiner is active joiner is active transformation why because it's a uh, uh, we can um, modify the rows correct or and is it connected or unconnected joiner is connected excellent joins data set what about lookup lookup it could be connected or unconnected both correct and also active and, and passive correct from informatica version 9 onward yes what it is used for the to uh, look up uh, like a how it uh, look up the target it is basically used for looking up the values in our lookup table it is uh, its functionality is same as the outer join हम किसी टेबल पे लेफ्ट आउटर ज्वाइन करते हैं तो क्या करते हैं उस टेबल में से जो एट्रीब्यूट चाहिए होता है वो उठा लेते हैं और लेफ्ट वाली टेबल के सारे रिकॉर्ड्स रिटर्न करते हैं सिमिलरली लुकअप क्या करता है सोर्स से जितनी रोज आ रही है उन्हें पास होने देता है और साथ में जिस वैल्यू के लिए हम लुकअप कर रहे हैं उस टेबल पे जहां पर मैच मिला वो वैल्यूज रिटर्न कर देगा लेट से वी आर लुकिंग सो बेसिकली लुकअप use as for uh, left auto join you are saying right look up is basically to look up on a table table yeah uh -huh. so left auto join mein ek particular case banta hai where we are just interested in one of the values from our uh, detail table uh, okay yes so look up mein hum wo wale cases handle karte hain suppose i have two tables customer and sales okay mm -hmm. and in my target i am needing the last name corresponding to the customer id so i look up on my customer table take all the data from my sales table and return the last name wherever my customer id is found in customer table okay that's an example this you have not used yet but you will eventually normalizer मिर्जा मेन फ्रेम से जो फाइल्स आती है ना कोबोल सोर्सेस से द डेटा इज डी नॉर्मलाइज तो उस डेटा को नॉर्मलाइज करने के लिए हम नॉर्मलाइजर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन का यूज करते हैं इट इज एन एक्टिव एज वेल एज कनेक्टेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके ओके फॉर नॉर्मलाइज कोबोल source data it is not necessary that the source will always be cobol it might be oracle table also but it is basically used to normalize the data mirza you do you know the concept of pivoting in excel pivot no so i'll give you an example suppose there is a student named mirza he is studying three subjects science maths and english he got 10 marks in science 10 marks in mathematics and 9 marks in english okay okay so right now the data is represented like this name marks 1 marks 2 marks 3 but we don't want the data to be represented like this we want additional column called subject and corresponding to that subject we want to mention the marks of that student so instead of having multiple columns like mark, marks 1 marks 2 marks 3 marks 4 marks 5 we will have a column subject and another column called marks in subject we will mention subject 1 subject 2 subject 3 subject 4 subject 5 and corresponding to it we will mention the marks 
Okay. Right now it is mentioned in your table like this. We don't want it to be mentioned like this. In a single row, we want your subject name to be mentioned and the marks in that particular subject. That's how we want the data to be represented. This process is called normalization of data. Okay? Okay. Basically, it's unpivot function in SQL. So when, when I was discussing input, I also talked about output. Input is passive and connected as well as output is also passive and connected. It defines a maplet output. Okay? Mirza, okay. Mujhe, uh, let me receive this call. Okay, okay. So we talked about input transformation also and output transformation also. Output is nothing but it is used to define the maplet output rows. Just like input is used to define the input rows of a maplet. Now there is a transformation called rank. Rank ke baare mein aapne padha bhi, it's a analytical transformation. Uh -huh. It is active as well as connected. It is used to sort the data. So it limits, uh, I'll be back. It is active as well as connected transformation, the rank transformation. Okay. Then, Mirza, suppose we have a table, we have cities ke corresponding data, Washington, New York, and Little Rock. I want to sep separate this data based on cities. Which transformation should I use? I'll go for using router transformation. I'll route based on cities. I'll create these three groups based on city where city is equal to New York, city is equal to Washington DC and mm -hmm. city is equal to Little Rock, right? Uh -huh. So router is active as well as a connected transformation. Yeah. Okay. Active as well as connected. Mirva, remember this table. Take a print of this table and paste it on your wall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Mirva, tell me about sequence generator. Sequence generator ko hum active bolenge or passive? Sequence generator. Hmm. Ye to hume ki uh, sequence generator ko connect karna padta hai. Otherwise yes. it won't work. So it is a connected transformation. Now the yes. question arises is, is sequence generator a active transformation or passive transformation? So whenever we are judging a transformation, we'll think mm -hmm. about the three properties which defines active transformation. Active transformation ki three properties kya hai? First property, changing the number of rows. Second property, changing the transaction boundary. Third property, changing the row type. Is sequence generator doing any of them? No. So it's no, a passive transformation. It's passive transformation. Okay. Uh, Mirva, let's say I'm providing you a list of names. You want to sort those names alphabetically. Which transformation are you going to use? Sorter. Right? Yeah. Sorter ko use karke hum sequence change kar sakte hain jis sequence mein data represent hota hai. Mm -hmm. So let's say open last me arasa to I can choose ki open should come on first if we'll sort it in alphabetically descending order. <laughs> right? Yes. So sorter active hua hai, passive hua? Sorter is a, uh, uh, connected and also is active. It is connected as well as active transformation. Correct. 
it forwards data based on specified key it it also changes transaction boundary that's why it is active we'll discuss about that in much more detail when we'll come to discussing Fortran itself first qualifier we already discussed that first qualifier is active as well as connected transformation uh, Mirva, let's say I need to execute a SQL query against a database which transformation should I use? SQL query SQL, SQL. transformation SQL, okay It can be active or passive, depends on the query and for sure it's a connected transformation okay okay it behaves like a PL SQL procedure just a PL SQL procedure mein hum koi input provide karte hain fir kisi query mein of input ko process karte hain it behaves exactly like that So it is used for executing SQL statement against a database. But uh, uh, this one is a re, uh, we can reuse the SQL, right? It is by default non-reusable. We can make it reusable. We'll we'll okay. talk about reusable and non-reusable later on. Okay. Let's not change the topic. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to remember. I can tell you that each one of them is reusable or not, but oh, okay. that won't that won't make sense. Informatica में by default सारे transformation non reusable होंगे किसी mapping के लिए local होंगे वो. If I want to use the same transformation again, I'll make it reusable. But this action is non revertible. Once I have made some transformation that's reusable, I cannot make it non-reusable again. And reusable transformation adds up to buffer cache. Okay. It adds up to Informatica repository because it is stored separately, not as a part of mapping. Let's say Mirza, we have data corresponding to three cities, New York, Washington DC and Little Rock. We want to combine these three streams and merge our data in a single stream. Which transformation should we use? Union, okay. Merging the data. union all write down this question what is the difference between union and union all google it and find it out okay done mm -hmm. then we already okay. discussed we already discussed about update strategy it is active and connected it changes the type of rows that's why it is active then there are few uh, transformations that we rarely use XML generator XML parser XML source qualifier all three are active and connected they are used to deal with XML format XML sources okay how about a historical procedure transformation Stored procedure transformation हम इतना ज़्यादा use नहीं करते. Stored procedure transformation also depends whether we need to connect it or not. And stored procedure is always passive. Okay. Because it is generating the results based on the query that we have stored in that procedure. Okay. So it may be connected or unconnected, and it's a passive transformation for sure. 
it is just used to call a short procedure okay okay so any doubt about why a given transformation is active or why a given transformation is passive any doubts no no okay so let's talk about each one of them in details now uh, or is it too much for today? <laughs> no, like I think uh, actually uh, at your end also it's almost almost eleven thirty, actually eleven eleven.